right, so a couple of days ago, we actually got our first look at uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, The Rings of Power on Amazon Prime. I personally have not got to see it yet, um, but I've heard a lot of people complaining about it. I've heard a lot of people that loved it. So I wanted to kind of get my own take on it. So this is going to be kind of my reaction video for Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power off Amazon Prime. So let's just get right on into it. Uh, let's see. Let's see if it's any good. Haven't you ever wondered what else is out there? Hey. There's wonders in this world beyond our wandering. was it that was literally it uh i thought it was gonna be like a trailer this is only like one minute long uh i mean whatever um okay so uh i just want to start off by saying uh it does look good like like it i love the scenery about it you know it fits the whole lord of the rings vibe about it um, it works scenery wise. Uh, I love the way the city was. I'm not quite sure which city that is that they just showed, uh, on the mountain range that looked interesting. Um, as far as the characters are concerned, I know that's where a lot of people have problems with it is, you know, they have a lot of African American characters on it and it feels like, I'm not going to say that they're trying to fill quotas, but it kind of felt that way. Uh, by the characters that they did reveal. A lot of female cast. Uh, a lot of female cast in it. Uh, Galadriel, you know, being kind of uh, looked like warrior princess uh, in a lot of ways in some of the you know pictures that's come out. Uh, not quite sure I necessarily like that, you know. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not so much concerned. And, and don't get me wrong. I understand the reasons why people have a problem with, uh, you know, the elves and the hobbits. And, I mean, elves, hobbits, whatever. Um, uh, and dwarves having, you know, different skin colors and so forth. Taking that token did uh, want to make Lord, Lord of the Rings as kind of a English lore of sorts, so it really doesn't fit with the 2022 version of England. It fits more for his time range of uh, of England and and of you know you know uh, medieval, I guess you could say versions of it. Even though it takes place in a completely different world, but so I kind of understand why people are pissed about that. I really do. On the other hand, it doesn't really upset me that much. Um, I'll tell you the one thing that I'm a little bit more worried about is there's uh, as much as the scenery looks good. Um, there's not a lot of there there when it comes to this trailer. And after all this time that's passed and you have all these people that are coming out attacking this, you would think that they wanted to give fans maybe a little bit more uh, idea of the stories, the characters, and, uh, you know, really put things to bed. Now, I, did, I do know that they did put some things to bed when it comes to this series. It's not going to be all about sex and violence and all this other stuff. It's going to be about story, uh, you know, which is good. Like, I'm, I'm glad that they're doing that. Um, at the end of the day, it's still Amazon Prime. I wouldn't be shocked if we still have just a little bit versions of it. Um but overall, 
uh, or at least something along those lines. So that makes me happy that they're doing that. And the only reason why it makes me happy that they're doing that, I don't really want an adult version of Lord of the Rings simply because I just feel like it it goes against everything that Tolkien stood for or would want for um, for Lord of the Rings. So I'm glad they're at least not going down that route. Um, as for me, if it wasn't for Tolkien's beliefs, maybe I, I wouldn't have such a problem with that. I would maybe even want that. Um, but in this case, I, I'm, I'm glad they didn't go down that route. Um, but as far as the way the characters look in this, uh, nothing about them really stood out. Uh, like I said, none of the stories stood out. Um, still don't really have very much of a good idea about anything, you know, other than what they've told us. But we've got nothing that we can see with our own eyes to know, okay, this is going to be epic. Because I know, you know, what was it? Bezos come out and said he wanted it to be like the next Game of Thrones. And it, from what I see of it, I don't really think it is. It, to be honest, I've, I've seen better looking series that were really just kind of the run of the mill series. Like, I mean, I mean, yes, the scenery is great, but as far as the characters... Uh, none of them really stood out to me as really that impressive. Like I said, from what I've heard of the story, I don't know how they're going to be able to compress all of these different things which take place, I think, over a 1,500-year span into, like, one series. So I don't know what they're going to have to change when it comes to that, and I don't know if I'm going to necessarily like that if they go that direction. Also, you know, when you're, you're talking about elves and then you're talking about humans, you know... Humans have a very short lifespan and elves have a very long one. So, you know, where they're talking, where they're showing, you know, these these elves and humans in love. I don't know exactly how that's going to work in a series, uh, you know, where elves live for so long and are so old, where humans not so much. So are we going to be able to see when that when they're trying to bring all of these stories into a really compressed Timeline, are we talking about maybe, um, you know, these characters growing old? Uh, maybe not getting a good detail of the human characters quite as much and just primarily be about the elves, dwarves, and so forth along those lines? I mean, if that's the case, I guess that'd be fine. Um, but there was nothing in this particular trailer that excited me. Um, and that's... I'm not going to go so far as say I'm like the gigantic Lord of the Rings fan. I love the books. I, I, um, you know, I love the Hobbit. I love, you know, Lord of the Rings, uh, movies even, but, um, I don't know. I, I just don't know. There's not anything about this particular trailer that gets me excited, uh, for the future of Lord of the Rings on Amazon. Definitely makes me think it's going to fall well short of the next Lord of the Ring, I, I mean, uh, uh, Game of Thrones. It just feels like this is going to be maybe a run-of-the-mill series, going to disappoint people all the way around, not necessarily because it's bad, but because it's already lost a lot of fans simply because of the casting choices and the creation of new characters for diversity's sake. And the them wanting to focus more on female oriented uh heroes than 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 male characters as well that also is going to draw a lot of people away so i mean i don't know who's going to be left to have the audience uh, i mean to be the audience for this uh maybe people that don't know very much maybe people that just want a you know a good watch but if it doesn't live up to the standards that uh bezos has already set you know, Game of Thrones um, standards, then I don't know how many people are going to stick around for it. I mean, we'll just have to see. But overall, not impressed. Didn't really, besides the scenery, like what I saw in any of it. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think down below. Are y'all excited for this series? Me after seeing the trailer, eh, not so much. I kind of feel like they're hiding something. I really do. I feel like they're hiding something. I feel like it's not as good. They know it's not as good. So they're trying to, I don't know, hold off as long as possible so that by the time maybe it comes, everybody 
that's hated on it has been called sexist, racist, and so forth until they get beaten to submission. They don't talk bad about it once it comes out. Maybe that's that's kind of where I'm leaning in this one. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think down below. As always, uh, if y'all if y'all enjoy our content here on Answer Us, please like, subscribe, and leave that comment down below. Also, check us out on Minds and Rumble. As always, guys, y'all take care.